Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Elliot and today we're going to be looking at a pair of scissors. Now I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but this is as much of a pair of scissors as it is a piece of art. I'm very excited about these. I bought them on Amazon. They're made by a company called HMM, which stands for Human Machine Method, I believe. And uh, yeah, they are a Taiwanese-based company which seeks to make really high-quality stationery slash tools. These things are no joke. Uh, they're not inexpensive at all. This was £50. Uh, they have other things on their website that are extortionately expensive as this, uh, like a little paperweight and a pen, a mug, and a cup and they are all mentally expensive. But the work that goes into making these makes you realize why they are so expensive. It's a very uh, long, careful process. Uh, it's not something that is just mass produced. These are handmade tools and uh, yeah, I'm very excited about this. So without any further ado, let's take a look. Um, this was 50 pounds, 54 British pounds on Amazon. Um, although I believe that has been marked up slightly because on their website, it seems to be 45 euros, which would mean it's more sort of towards the 40 pound mark, which is probably around $60. Now this packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm not sure what I was expecting the packaging to be, um, but when I saw this in the Amazon, uh, brown Amazon sort of envelope, I kind of thought it was just gonna be the scissors just chucked into there. Um, but upon actually opening the Amazon parcel, this packaging is perfect. It's really beautiful, it's really sleek, it's really basic. They haven't got their branding all over the place, it just says HMM scissors with base. And then on the back, that's their logo there, HMM, a very understated, clean, simple logo, and I really like it. On the back here, it actually says Japanese stainless steel with Teflon coating, TPR, and then it says that it weighs 60 grams, milled aluminium base, uh, and the whole thing is made in Taiwan, and their website is hmmproject.com. So this video is obviously not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. Um, I really just like this as a desk ornament and things to open my packages with that aren't a sharp, scary knife. Um, so when you slide it open, you are greeted with this more black matte paper, which is nice. Um, and it's sort of on this cardboard, which looks almost like it would be um, plywood, but it's definitely just cardboard. Um, but anyway, here we go. Let's flip it open and boom. There we have the scissors themselves with that little magnetic base there. So I'm gonna bring the camera in. We'll take a closer look. So we'll take a look at the base first. It's a very nice little thing. They've obviously cut out a little piece in the middle for the magnet. Uh, it's just a solid chunk of aluminium, which has that um, sort of anodized feel, but it's whatever that Teflon coating is. Um, and then they've also included this little sort of weird feeling, gooey pad that is presumably gonna stop scratches, but also kind of feels like really disgustingly sticky. So I'm not sure what that is, but I'm definitely never gonna use that. Um, it's so smooth on the base here that it's just not gonna scratch any surface that it's on um, because this stuff, whatever that is, I don't want that staining my, um, my desk. I would say you could just get a small piece of felt and stick that on the base and you're gonna have just the same um, effect as having this, except without the sticky residue weird stuff. So that's interesting. Not sure why that is there, but um, yeah, I'm probably just gonna keep it like this. If anything, I'll put a small piece of thin felt on the bottom. So that's our base. And then here are the scissors themselves. Quite hard to get out of this packaging, but it keeps them all safe whilst they're in transit, coming a fairly long way. Um, I think this was actually uh, shipped from Italy, so I'm not sure if they've got a stock there or something, but yeah, so here are the scissors themselves. The first thing you'll notice is they are incredibly sleek. There's very little on them at all. There's a small little uh, branding there, the HMM logo, and on the back, it's up there as well. Um, now you'll notice, they are not sharp on the base. There is not a pointy base on the bottom of this. That's really nice, obviously, if you've got kids around the place, um, but you do a lot of scissoring of stuff, paper, whatever. Um, they're not just gonna be able to pick them up and stab stuff. Um, equally, you don't have to carry the scissors like this when you walk around because you can't stab anything. Um, however, people obviously will want to open their packages, um, but they can do that with this little piece at the top, and that is what that is there for. It's kind of a... It's not sharp, it's like a letter opener kind of style thing, but that would obviously puncture um, some sellotape and go through some cardboard. So that's a really nice little addition. And it just makes it that slight bit more interesting of a design, having that little piece up at the top there. 
Now inside these two holes for your fingers is a kind of a really tough feeling rubber. It's not plastic, like it's definitely, if I was to dig my nail into it, gonna leave an indentation, um, but it's a very solid feeling rubber. It's not squishy, um, but that obviously makes it very, very comfortable to use. Now, I'm not exactly a scissor review expert, so I'm not sure what people wanna see uh, or hear about in these reviews, but the weight of it is exceptionally perfect. It's not too heavy, yet it doesn't feel at all like it's not 50 pounds worth of, of product. Like it's a very, very nice weight. Um, it's perfect for a pair of scissors. I don't know how to describe that. Uh, the action is incredibly smooth. Obviously, if you were to start using this and you cut something that was not paper and you ended up um, sort of damaging the sharp edge, uh, you are maybe gonna get a bit more of a crunch, but I'm imagining whatever Japanese steel is, you could probably get these sharpened again with no bother at all. That Teflon finish, whatever that is, is very nice. My only complaint is that if your palms are sweaty, <laughs> it leaves pretty nasty residue marks, but you'll be able to just wipe that off with some microfiber cloths. Plus, I imagine people wouldn't mind these being kind of rustic looking um, because they are such a minimalistic, sleek design. So that stand, as you just saw there, is magnetic um, and it balances everything perfectly. It's gonna be quite hard for me to show you um, on the top-down camera, but I'll have some B-roll. But yeah, it's it's not gonna go anywhere um, with without you know, actually having some force on it. The table shakes aren't gonna make it fall over. Um, I don't know what you're doing to your table that would cause that to happen, but if I just gently knock the table, it isn't gonna just topple over. Obviously it will if you push it against your finger. What do you guys think? I freaking love them. I don't know how else to review a pair of scissors, but I noticed that these people don't have any videos on YouTube uh, besides some marketing material that maybe has like a thousand views each so I was hoping that I could just shine a bit of light on their company it's just such a uh, a beautiful thing they don't have a lot of stock on Amazon so I will leave an affiliate link in the description and I'll try and find one for US stores if they even have them but um, yeah ultimately the best place to look is on their website hmmprojects.com or whatever it was I'll leave that in the description as well um, let's do some cutting because I suppose that's quite an important thing to do in a review of a pair of scissors so here is a piece of paper, the finest of papers. That is a lie, it's just whatever I had in my drawer. Um, yeah, cuts perfectly. The only thing I would say that I have noticed is if you go all the way down to the end of the cut, you kind of get an actual rip at the end there. Did you see what just happened there? And that is not something that you get on a regular pair of scissors, so if anything, yeah, I mean, you are gonna make, I, I don't know if that's because like, because of the design that they've gone for, that final bit hasn't got a nice razor sharp point to just glide through the end. If you're, if you think, the reason why they, obviously this is happening is because of the thickness of the tip of the, the scissors there. Um, when you get to the end, the scissors are ultimately gonna be sitting in the cut that you've made, and then that final bit is just gonna be torn because of the, the, the the blunt edge. So obviously, if you don't cut the whole way down, you're not gonna have that problem. You know, if you're just sort of cutting using uh, sort of 90% of the, the scissors, you're not gonna have that problem. But I mean, this is an incredibly sharp pair of scissors. There is no denying that. It's gonna cut through anything with ease. Um, I wonder if we can also use it like this, like a knife. There we go, yeah. Yeah, th th it's a very, very sharp pair of scissors. But then again, they're not—they're not any better than any other pair of scissors that I've ever used in my life. I think the thing you're really paying for here is the the craftsmanship and obviously the sort of the artwork design element of it. Um, they're definitely not a an experience that I've never experienced before in terms of cutting. Um, so yeah, very nice pair of scissors. I'd love to know what you think in the comment section below. Obviously, I'm aware that they're a very expensive pair of scissors, um, and I know that not everyone's gonna be going out and buying 50 pounds worth of scissors, but I just think they're so cool, and I really wanted some on my desk. So yeah, there we go. I wonder if I can use them for my bonsai tree. Probably screw up the uh, the blade if I do that. But yeah, lovely. That, that's a very therapeutic thing to do. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop the video there. I hope you've all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.